Today on Puzzle Time, you've seen Euclid. Now we're giving you Euclid for kids. The hardest three-piece puzzle you've ever done. Pretty cool solution. We do figure that one out. And we got the Rhoda. I'm going to show you how much better I am than Tyler at puzzles. We turn those four pieces into these four pieces. Becoming a level eight puzzler. That's right. Okay. Laundry day. Yeah. The struggle is real. And the Ram Fam shirt from yeah. Chris Ramsey. Chris Ramsey. Yeah. Uh, Pelican. We have we Pelicans. Pelican, yeah. Czech, Czech Republic company. Czech Republic. Czech Republic yep. company. Cool. They are really good. Some of the best uh, wood puzzles you'll ever see out there. Quality, design, woodwork, craftsmanship. All yeah, of it. Incredible. Beautiful. Uh, good price point too, actually, compared to like some of the stuff that kind of hits that same standards yeah. in those departments, like reasonable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to start with? Okay. Well, I figured this one out Ooh, right so, before. Yeah. Tony was playing with this before we uh, shot and solved it. So yeah, some of them you, uh, I don't know, cause I don't solve many puzzles, but uh, <laughs> some of them you kind of look at that just make sense to you. Yeah. And this so, was one of them. This is called Rota Rota hashtag. hashtag, is Rota that hashtag, yeah. So R O T A and the, like little hashtag. Yeah. So you're trying to make a hashtag. Yeah. With these four pieces. Yeah, four pieces. So like it'll end up being like that. Something. I don't know. Uh, have you played with this before? No, I haven't. It's okay. a level seven, so it's in our in our wheelhouse, as yep. we've said, sixes and sevens. Uh, and it did come in three days ago, so brand yeah. new to us. Yeah, new to us. So this is this is designed by a lady actually uh, named Lucy Pauls. She, uh, not many female designers out there, not many females in the puzzle industry in general. We appreciate so, you. We do. Yeah. Right. Uh, she does on something else though too. Yeah, Coriolis. 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 Actually, uh, Aaron shot a solution, I think, on it. So it's on our channel on YouTube there. Cool. And uh, she's designed a bunch of other stuff too, because uh, I looked her up online and she had a few other designs and things. So um, yeah, check her out. She's got some good stuff. This is a cool looking puzzle. I like that. I think the look of this puzzle is just really beautiful yeah, and unique. Black on redwood. Yeah, it looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this is done. Okay. Okay, you got these pieces. Right? Hold okay, hold you on. Got hold two on. of them with the hole. Walk me through. Can you remember now? Uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna no, freak. I did <laughs> start with this one. Okay, wait, hold and on. I don't remember that one. Okay. And then I just try to find the opposing squares. Right, because it's right. gonna line up yeah. in. Right. Yeah. So you put it maybe in like like that. Yep. No. No, that's wrong. All right, so that would be number one. Okay, wait, which one did you put in there? Another uh, one? Well, that? no, don't start with that. See this one, the notch here and the notch here are gonna match the notch there and the notch there. Okay. Right, so now you gotta figure out how to orient it into there. Yeah, there you go. There? Yep. And then up? Yeah, and then you gotta, it's a, it's go. a nice tight fit, which yeah, is nice, because it, it just sits there nice and straight. Yeah, which, which is crazy on Pelican stuff that like, because humidity expands wood, right? And for them to yeah. be able to make something that's like so well done that humidity doesn't affect it the same way. So I'm seeing, so I'm seeing those two cuts again, and I'm seeing two cuts here. Yeah, yeah. So you'll need a, a full bar to match up that top piece there. I know. Hold on, I think. I don't know. The whole see. thing comes apart like once you have them in place too to fit that last. Okay, I got, I got another one in there. You got the other one. Now let's see. So. Does your last one? There we go. Okay. I think I'm sliding it. There we go. So now. So I got these two. 
See, I think I've got a different one. I've got a different one than you in there. See, now I feel like I, I did this in the wrong order because I, now I need to get this piece obviously below. How do I do that? Oh, wait, hold on. No, I think I see it. So there, into that cut. Ah, we'll try to oh, go through the hold center. Hold on, hold on. I think, I think I might have it. You got it? I think I might. I gotta just figure it out. Let me just see. I did, I got. Oh. You got it? All right. Got it. Yeah, there we go. A second here. I oh. got it together. So that last piece is kind of tricky. You gotta like weave it in almost, hey? Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Need some water. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, oh I, I, I can. No, position. I can see it. I can see it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Is it right there? Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah. It'll slide in. It'll slide in. I see it there. I see it. I see it there. there. Slide it in. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh. High five. Level Woo. seven. There we go. We both solved it. What do you know? I uh, that was sweet. I really like the fit of this. Yeah, I like the it first too. First time was easier, and like everything stays nice and solid. Yeah, and it holds together well. It looks cool. That is a good puzzle. Not crazy hard. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing is, so this puzzle you just saw us do it, but if you want to see Puzzle Guy do it, he does this puzzle on okay. his YouTube channel. Um, and the thing I found actually, I, I YouTube like went on YouTube and searched Pelican puzzles. And pretty much everything on there was either us or Puzzle Guy. Okay. And mostly Puzzle Guy. I think Puzzle Guy really, really likes Pelican. And I found out why. They're both from the Czech Republic. Oh. So Puzzle Guy is from Czech Republic and so is Pelican. So that is, I think, why he does a lot of Pelican stuff. And you'll see a ton of it. Mr. Puzzle's done a few of them. And Chris has done like one or two Pelican puzzles. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, as far as shooting reviews for us too, like I went through the whole Pelican line, and that was so far been my favorite. Yeah, so yeah, check out Puzzle Guys Rota hashtag solution. Um, he also does our uh, next puzzle, which is okay, this one. Yeah, we'll just well, technically we're going to show you Euclid for kids. Euclid so for kids. This is, uh, you'll, you'll probably rec maybe recognize the name if you're familiar with puzzle, uh, Pelican puzzles, because this is a three piece puzzle called Euclid for kids. There is a, another puzzle called Euclid, which, uh, Tony, you actually did a review of. Yeah. I believe this is like a One, five two, three, or four, seven, five, six, seven, pieces, seven piece yeah. puzzle. So, um, yeah, it's, they're, they're similar. The obviously Euclid for kids is a little smaller. Um, and has less pieces. So seven pieces, three pieces. Um, cool. Yeah. Euclid That's for Euclid. kids. Euclid's a level nine. And so significantly harder. Is Euclid for kids, nine? seven. Level oh. seven. So yeah. Um, this one's designed by Dr. Volker Latusek. Doctor. Doctor. He's the Rumble guy. It's the guy who does, I don't know if he owns Rumble or whatever, but he has most of their puzzles. And I think he's like the Rumble guy. So yeah, he designed this one. And so some, I don't know, some interesting stuff, hey, because like this one actually doesn't Everything fit is in. It's just a little bit. It's a little big. Hole. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's just a little big. And so that's the interesting part about this puzzle. Now, oh, now, like I said, I did watch Puzzle Guy solve this. I'm going to have to see if I can even remember how to do it. Okay. So this goes in and then sits in there. Okay. And then this piece goes in like that. And so then you're gonna flip this one into like a kind of like a diamond shape. Chica, chica. And then you're gonna take yeah. that like little piece in the bottom. And so you're gonna have, you have your diamond shape up like that. Gotcha. And then you're gonna flip the little one underneath the side of the diamond. Oh, there we go. You gotta have the, the diamond piece. You gotta hold the diamond piece up. And then you flip. So the diamond piece kind of comes up. Oh, you got it there. I yeah, see. you can pull it up and then you push the little one underneath the diamond. Okay. So then you take this and you put it in. This is the part where maybe I should have. <laughs> <laughs> maybe tried it out first. Oh yeah, I should have. And no, I'm just trying to figure out which way. Cause this is a little like this. Gotcha. 
Hey, how'd you get yours in? Like a champ, bro. See, that's what I, I'm having trouble with here. Oh, 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 this is cool. Okay, yeah. I gotcha. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there, so you did yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, so let's, let's just show them that, okay? So this goes in, and then down, and it's then- It's gotta start flat. Yeah. Around, there. Yeah. Okay, and then how did you get this in? This is the one I'm having trouble with. So I, right, if I push down on this, cause it's it up here. It pushes that little one up, there. yeah. There you go. Okay. There. And then, and then what you did is you. Yeah. Well, I would just, I just made sure it was loose. And then just tried to flip it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No, maybe you can't actually, I'm wrong. Okay. So let's see, I'm going to put it in the diamond shape. Get that little, that one down. Hold up, get the, that one's in. That's a cool solution, hey? Yeah. Yeah, so again, Puzzle Guy does the solution on his channel. Well worth checking out. I don't know if I'd get to that solution. It's tough call. Yeah. yeah. It's a good, good puzzle though, unique. It's kind of, it, it's always frustrating working with these ones that are like, Slightly, I think that's how you do it to start. And just put your big, the big box right there. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So yeah, there's the start. Euclid for kids, now you've seen the solution to that. It's a level seven. That's a pretty cool puzzle. Designed by Volker, Dr. Volker Latusek. Again, from Pelican. So Pelican makes awesome puzzles. Awesome puzzles. Yeah. Um, on the Pelican note, uh, We've been doing Aaron's Anomalies, so we'll show you an Aaron's Anomalies here, and it is one of my favorite, favorite Pelican puzzles called Petite Pack. It's by, uh, designed by Osinori Yamamoto, and uh, me and Aaron sit down and we do it. It is pristine, super good. Yeah, but uh, Aaron's Anomalies, Petite Pack, check it out. Welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. Aaron, what do you got for us today? Oh, I got Petit Pack. Petit Pack. From? Uh, Osinori Yamamoto, and he's this is from Pelican. From Pelican. Oh, so Osinori's made a lot of good puzzles, I've seen. Yeah, he really likes this plan. style of packing puzzle where you got a couple pieces and I guess a frame. I guess okay. that's really what most packing puzzles are, but yeah. this kind of box and it kind of looks almost like a chocolate bar and a bite taken out of it or something. Okay. Well, should we start? Let's, what do you got to do with this? You got to take it all apart and then... Yeah, you got to disassemble and then you need to put all the pieces back in and you can't have anything sticking out. Like, so that's why, yeah. I like that. I always hate when puzzles start in the solved state and you're like, I don't know, it's just something about that I don't care for. Yeah, for the longest time, I wasn't even sure this one had a solution. <laughs> trying to do that live solve of it, it was just like 10 plus hours trying is to it, figure it out. Is it pretty hard? Because it's honestly like a four piece, well, three piece almost, however you want to put it. This doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Yeah. Huh. And I believe, uh, did I say this score? It was level Level, nine. is it level nine? Level I don't think nine. we did. Yeah, it's a level, level nine, nine on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. Yep. So, okay, Aaron, let's see the solution. Okay, so to start with, we'll put the square in and like hold it up with my fingers. Yeah. Through that back hole. Okay. <laughs> I kind of already messed it up. <laughs> okay, uh, what is it? it uh, no, it's like that. Okay. Oh, I'm confused. Okay, so square up at the top. Yeah. You put the W in, <laughs> you put it back. Or you, know, oh, you, say, you yeah. keep it both forward, right? Yeah, forward and then and then square you... forward too. Okay, so they're both at the front. Yep. You take this piece. Yep. And you put it in the right way. So uh, like this. There and then up. Yeah, you got it. So like that. Okay. And up. So in up there and then up. Then you move the W all the way back. So okay. that the square drops. Square drops down. And over. And over. And then that small piece in the back should move forward. Forward, yeah. And then you can close it up. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. That is a good solution. That is so good. 
Because let me just see. Let me. See. I just want to. I want to kind of work through that again. So. So then you gotta. Where am I here? There. So then that uh, that's a great last move. Hey, so that whole piece slides over, and that one slides in, and then everything's inside the frame. That's great. This is petite pack from Pelican. Yep. Level what? Nine? Uh, level nine. Yep. Level nine. And then you got to take everything out. So let's see. What am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. That square's got to be at the top. That moving that square to the top is kind of a yeah. It kind of gets almost a little bit stuck a lot. Like you yeah. kind of got to pry at it from the back side huh. too. There we go. So that piece is out. That's out, and the square is out. Huh. Man, for being like, what would you call this? Is this a three-piece puzzle or four-piece puzzle? Uh, I guess you count the frame always, count the but frame. for three pieces that you're trying to fit, fit into a frame. The frame. Like that, that feels like it should be way easier than it is. Oh yeah, that's, it's like, oh yeah, how hard could three pieces be? I mean, that's good. cool. I like that. Yeah, that's a super awesome puzzle. Cool. That was Aaron's Anomaly's Petite Pack. Hopefully you enjoyed that puzzle. I really like that one. It's one of my favorite Pelicans. Um, another one of my favorite pelicans, uh, was a puzzle called mini lock. Have you seen it? A little mini no. wooden lock that they made. Uh, Mr. Puzzle does a solution to it on his YouTube channel. So, uh, it's really good. Check that one out. Mini lock. And then another one, uh, the classic kind of like pelican one that everybody knows is Excalibur. You've seen Chris Ramsey do it. You've seen Mr. Puzzle do it. Check those videos out too. Really good. If you haven't watched those. Definitely go and watch them as uh, Stefan Baumiger makes Excalibur and it's one of the most difficult puzzles out there. And then, um, yeah, another new guy I stumbled across this week, uh, kind of just perusing stuff on YouTube, is a guy named Cubastic. Um, yeah. I don't know where, it says he's in the United States, but he like voiceovers his uh, videos. So it's kind of odd. But uh, he does one called Cast Arrows. Um, he has a few different puzzles on there, but he does Hanayama's cast arrows. So um, Cubastic, check him out. He's really good and seems to be getting into puzzles. I think he's more of a Cuber guy. Okay. Yeah, so rotationals, that sort of thing. And then uh, on Instagram, there's uh, a guy who does a lot of Pelican stuff and a few other different um, wood. It's all wood puzzles, but it's Puzzledum underscore collection. Puzzledum underscore collection. Some just beautiful pictures of puzzles on his uh, YouTube channel, on their YouTube channel. And um, he does reviews a bit. So he reviews the whatever puzzles are pictured there. So puzzledum underscore collection. Check that page out on Instagram. Really good. Really good. Yeah. So that's our episode for the week. I don't yep. know, it's raining here. I don't know if you guys can hear that again. But um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Check us out on. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, PuzzleMaster.ca. Yeah. Uh, happy Canada Day. Happy Canada also. Day, uh, as we shoot this, I guess. But, yep. yeah, it'll be probably Whenever it comes out. Yeah. July 1st, Canada Day, just so you guys know, for those of you who aren't aware. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later.